Hi guys, this is Susan with ThriftyLiving.com back this week with another sales video. Hopefully, I can get this one actually uploaded on Sunday. That is the schedule that I'm trying for, but the last couple of weeks it's been Monday, so we'll see if this makes it up today or tomorrow. Um, I actually thought that this week had been slower than what it actually was. Sometimes, you know, when you're not listing, you're not putting in the time, which I haven't been this week with school starting back, so I've been having my focus completely, completely on my classroom and, and that kind of stuff. So I think I've listed one new thing this week and just done a couple of relists. So I really have not invested a lot of time on eBay and Amazon this week. I haven't spent anything in this week for Amazon. So I did when I when I was preparing to do this video and pulling everything up, I did actually have a couple more sales than what I thought I had. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the eBay section. Um, first thing, this video is from July 31st through August the 6th. Um, this, the first thing I have is this vintage Pyrex. It was an 8 inch square um, glass baking dish. I've had this for a long time. I got it in a big lot of Pyrex and Corninware. And this one actually had a lot of issues. Um, no cracks or chips, but it did have a lot of scratching, a lot of issues. Let me see if you can see. Um, it had a little bit of darkening, and like I said, it did have a lot of heavy scratching. So it took a while to sell. I was actually about ready to pull it out of my store and re-donate it when it sold. Um, and the sold price that you see, the $15, is what it sold for with the customer paying shipping. And I'm really glad to get that out of my storage. Alright, let's see. Next is a 24 months um, just little outfit. It was blue and white striped. It was like a um, short all romper type outfit. Uh, I think I put unisex in it because even though it was blue and white it had a little elephant. Most people would put it on a boy so I guess it was probably be boy, but the brand was Peaks Partner. Let's see if I have, I don't, I don't have a picture of the tag on this one, that's kind of unusual, but it was like a seersucker material, I and mean, that's still, um, after all these years, that's still a pretty popular material um, in children's clothing, especially in the boutique line of children's clothing. Um, and it says $14.99 here, but it actually was a best offer for $13.49 with the customer paying shipping. Next, this was a daytimer brand um, organizer. It was one of the seven rings. Let's see on the inside. It didn't have any of the paperwork in it, but you know, these you can buy the new year every year with the notes and everything. It did zip around the edge. I've done really well with these. This was um, genuine leather. Um, let's see. I actually had this one for a while and like I said it was a slow week so I took a best offer on this for $12. Kind of unusual for me to sell something for that low but I just I was really trying to get some activity in my store since I wasn't listing so that's why I took the offer that I took. Sometimes you'll take a little bit less, you know, on a slow week. And I knew that I wasn't going to be listing much this week. So I was just trying to get some sort of activity. Okay, let's see here. Next is this Chico's jacket. It was like um, a denim material, but it had like a seascape. Let's see if I can show you the back here. Almost like a European Paris type um, cityscape and it was a really light pinkish um, color was a size 3 which in Chico's is equal to a large or extra large <coughs> excuse me uh, it shows here $28.99 but I actually took a best offer of $26.09 that's still a pretty good um, 
pretty good outcome on something I probably gave three or four dollars for. It's like I said, it's been listed for a while, so I'm not I don't really remember um, exactly what I paid for it. Next is this Orvis brand. <clears throat> Orvis is a very good brand, but this shirt had a lot of wash fade to it. There was a little tiny hole. You can see I noted all that here, and I did take a picture of the hole. But with it being Orvis, and Orvis has such a following, I did go ahead and list it um, for $14.99, which is a really low price. You see here, I took a picture of the hole. This, oops. If I can show you. The hole was right here, and I did try to put my tape measure here just so they could really get a, an idea of what size it was. Um, listing things with flaws is not a huge issue if you take into consideration your price. And um, if the item, you know, has a good following, usually even something with flaws will sell. But just never, never, never try to hide the flaws. Go ahead and point out any possible thing you can find because you don't want your customer upset. You want them to know everything about the item before they get it. Okay, next we have the Big Hug Mug. This is actually the first time I'd found this, and mine did have a few little issues. You can see in this picture, it had some issues in the bottom. It had some marks on the bottom. It had some marks on the edge here, which I took pictures of all of those little flaws. Um, these, even in perfect condition, do not have the sell-through rate that they used to have or the price that they used to get. But... Um, because this was such a big bolo a few years ago when I found it for a dollar I couldn't pass it up even though it had the issues that it had. Um, this shows that it sold for 15 but I actually took a best offer of 13.50 on this one. Still a pretty good outcome on a dollar item. Next, this was not a good sale. This, I actually bought these at the St. Vincent store. Um, they were in a Ziploc all packaged together, just like I have them here. They had them for $2. And you can see here, I had them listed for 8 I took a best offer of $7.20. When I got them home, um, I like patches. I tend to gravitate toward this type of thing. But these were really not worth it much of anything so I just left them all in a lot like they were and just they did actually sell pretty fast but of course there wasn't there wasn't a lot of profit there considering that I bought them for two and sold them for seven twenty. Um, next we have this puzzle which no I did not put together. I bought a lot of puzzles at an estate sale. This one had been opened so I did put that all the pieces I could not guarantee they were not they were there <clears throat> but it was such an awesome um, picture and it, it actually went together in that shape of the of the dragon so um, I took a best offer on that one for 1080 and I believe that would actually went global shipping program next was a coat that actually belonged to my husband it was from, it's a Carhartt brand. It was a denim, a dark black denim jacket, and it was from, we do live in Georgia, so it was from where they built the Olympic Stadium um, back in 1996. I'm assuming, I think it was 96. Don't promise that I'm correct on that, but I think that was right. Um, let me show you the full picture here. My husband actually bought this at the, a local auction, and he wore it for a short time. It did have a lot of issues, but because of the subject matter, I went ahead and listed it. I had it listed, I think, for 35 and it was on sale for $32.96, and um, had a best offer of $29.66, so I let it go at that. Um, and I think this went to Connecticut, and as you can see, I took pictures of all the issues. Um, every little flaw, I think I used probably all 12 of my pictures on this one just because I wanted them to know exactly what they were getting um, into here. You can see every little flaw. Um, and I'm assuming that that sold now just because the Olympics is starting. 
Next, we have a, it was like um, the shaving cream. It was from the 1950s. This was new old stock, but it was just for display only because you can see it had been, I guess, because it had set in the box. Um, I had a whole case of these that I picked up in the local auction, um, and I've sold, let's see, it says now I've sold two of them. So I still have seven of them in my storage, um, but it, it's still a cool display piece, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, but there again, I did take pictures of all the issues, the inside of the box, and how it had kind of evaporated inside the box. Um, had it listed for 12 and took the best offer of 8. Next, we have a Chico's jacket. This is like a really lightweight scarf type jacket, um, almost like a cardigan, but it didn't button. It had like the cascading um, front down the front here. Um, this was a size 2, which is like a medium large in Chico's. And if you don't know Chico's, you definitely should look it up and just get accustomed to their sizing. One tip I will tell you on Chico's, a lot of the thrift stores, even your chain stores, especially Goodwills and Salvation Armies, they, um, a lot of them do not understand the sizing on Chico's. So usually where I will find these is in the plus size section, especially at the Goodwills. Um, because they say two and three, they, um, a lot of the workers at the thrift stores think that that means 2X and 3X when it actually doesn't. It's the specialty sizing that Chico's uses in their brand. So um, just a little tip on where you can where you can find those. A lot of times you're going to find those in the plus size section of your store. Um, I had this listed at 24 and took a best offer of 20. And the last thing I have from eBay this week was a cruel embroidery kit. This kit had been opened, but I looked through it, and it appeared that everything was there. This was um, number 6073, and it was the alphabet. Um, you can see that all the um, pattern, and it appears that all of the thread is there. I did not go through and count every one of them. I'm not that familiar with those kits, so what I just said was what I knew. I, you know, you try to be as honest as you can. I said that it had been opened, but it appeared that everything was inside. Um, and this actually did sell for $12. The customer didn't even make an offer on this one. So that is all I have this week for eBay. Um, I am assuming this is probably going to be another kind of slow week, just getting back into my groove of getting back to work and back to school. So. Um, I'm sure that I will be exhausted when I get home dealing with my little munchkins, so <clears throat> I'm sure I won't be doing a lot of listing this week. I did pick up a couple of really cool finds that I will try to get a video of up sometime this week um, from an estate sale that we went to yesterday. Um, I think that is all I have right now, so if you'll stand by, I'll show you what I got. For Amazon. I'll punch pages and you see here they are right now the price in the buy box is $7.98. Mine sold for $7.97 and that was on the 31st that those sold. Next we have the complete Beatles Chronicle paperback book. Um, there's a Quite a few sellers on this particular book. My copy sold for $6.79. Not sure where I picked that up. It's been in the warehouse for a while. Uh, most of the things that you're seeing this week uh, are either things that you've seen before because I had multiples of or they've been in the warehouse for a little bit. I haven't sent in a shipment. I think it's probably been two to three weeks since I sent in a shipment. I'm working on one right now. Hopefully can get it in this week or next. Um, my copy was a used copy, so it still sold pretty well considering that it was a used copy. Next is something you've seen before. These fuses. It was a two-pack of fuses that I picked up on clearance at my local Walmart. I 
think um, these actually sold really well. I think I picked up three of them, or maybe four, and they were two packs. And this is the last one actually that I had in the warehouse, so I would tell you if you're, I'm not big on retail arbitrage, but if you're there, you know. I was actually doing some grocery shopping today at Walmart and picked up a few things to send in just on clearance. I don't go specifically for the purpose of looking at retail stores for Amazon, but if I'm there, I will, you know, prowl through the clearance and just see if there's any money to be made while you're there anyway. Why not? Normally, my Amazon stuff is going to be items that I find at yard sales or thrift stores that are still sealed in box some books but i don't do a lot of books i am ungated in dvds but the market is so saturated on those i don't do a ton of those either um it's a lot of scanning for not a lot of payoff for me personally because you know i'm doing this basically as a hobby not as a job if i was doing it you know if i was purely in it for the money i would probably run my business differently than what I do um, because there is a good bit of profit to be made in RA it's just not it's just not where I find joy I like the treasure hunting aspect of of yard sales and estate sales especially I like to dig through other people's stuff and find the the things that they don't really see worth in and and take it and put it in a different context and help somebody find the worth in it the value in it so anyway you see as before the price that's in the buy box right now was actually lower than the price that I sold mine at I sold mine for eleven twenty-five, and I think I either paid a dollar fifty or two dollars for these at my local Walmart on clearance and as I said the last time I'm not even sure what these are for what you even do with them all I know is it's some kind of fuses and there was profit so that that's good enough for me um next i think i've shown these in a update video before um these are brita replacement water filter this one is for the pitchers um i actually have some also i think in the warehouse that are for the water bottles and for the refrigerators so you can find these for a lot of the um water filters for a lot of different purposes um the buy box right now is 579 and that is the the amount that i sold mine for i really i don't remember where i picked these up to be honest with you so i can't tell you um can't even remember what i had in them i'd have to go back and look at my paperwork now this next one though is an interesting sale because you will hear people tell you there's no money in Beanie Babies. And there's not a lot of money in Beanie Babies. But if you can find one that has a listing on Amazon, you can sell it. From my experience, it will sell faster on Amazon than it will on eBay. Um, I'm sure I ran across this for probably not more than a quarter or 50 cents because I wouldn't have paid more than that for a beanie baby for a tie but um this one the buy box right now is 14.25 mine sold for 16.91 so for you know the amount that you had invested and no more room than it took up in your box to ship to the warehouse that that was a decent profit for me next we have these floppy disks the micro floppy disks these are the double-sided ones i think you might have seen these before four um the buy box right now is 7.95 mine sold for 8.44 and this is something if you can find them in multiples especially you can find these sometimes really cheaply especially at yard sales estate sales um if you can find more than one of them i mean it, it's I would have, if I had more than one copy, I would have put these on eBay instead of Amazon, but I only either had one or two of these, so I went ahead and put them in the box just shipping to the warehouse because they took up so little room. You kind of have to play with that and see where your bigger profit is. Um, 
right now I'm really in the get stuff out of my house mode, so I'm sure that's probably why I threw these in the box. And next is something that you can find pretty cheap at, um, you can even find these at Goodwills, but you can really find them cheap at yard sales and estate sales. If you can find the ones that are not open, uh, any kind of the 3M brand or Avery brand that you can print out on your printer, a lot of people I know you can find, you know, you can get stuff printed online so cheap now that people who are really into the internet and the web will do it that way, but there's still a whole lot of people who prefer to do their own at home. I do not know why, because that's one of the more aggravating things I've ever tried to do in my life, to get everything to line up exactly right, but there are people who still are really into that kind of thing. And this is something that you can, if you know, if you run across a box of them or run across a pack of them at even Goodwill, you're gonna pick, you're gonna be able to pick these up for fifty cents or a dollar. Um, these are actually mine were evidently the only ones listed, and these actually sold for nineteen ninety five. So, and like I said, I'm sure I didn't pay more than a dollar for these. So that was a really good outcome on those. All right, guys, that's all I have for this week. Hopefully, we'll have a little better week this week, but with as much listing as I'm going to be able to do, I really doubt it because the truth is, especially on eBay, if you're not putting the work in and doing the listing, you're just not going to see the outcome. You really have to put in the effort to get the outcome you want. And I know that at least for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be swamped in my regular job. So I'm not going to have the time or the energy to put in, in the effort that I should in my eBay. Um, Amazon, like I said, I'm working on a box right now. I may get out this week because Amazon, you know, goes a little quicker than eBay. I really don't know how this week's going to go. I've just got to play it by ear. Starting a year, starting a new year with you know a new class can be can be rough. So just playing it by ear right now, you know, it's nothing I didn't plan for. That's the thing about eBay. You can definitely plan for what you need in your life. So that's the awesome thing about it. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything you'd like me like to see me cover, please um, drop it in a comment below. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. I will be back again next week to show you what I have. And hopefully, it'll be more than I expect. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.